pick up to go and I'm gonna hit the road tonight Now my wheels in motion and my Bikes we got here belong to the Fennel Badan's and Motel next door here. We have 60 bikes on display. See how long the seats are? Dad used to get all us kids on there and one on the tank. Five kids. Yep. And himself. Dangerous. And the kid he didn't like, he just chucked off the back. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got 20s here almost. Yeah. Oh, 750s, same colour. Oh, he likes the Norton's, babe. Yeah. So this one, here's a Ducati to guys. I had to leave Kimmy tied up for a while, she's been naughty. The news crew has actually uh, got here in time to film us at the lookout. Right. Oh, wow. I just want to have a lookout there. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. This is almost stubby time in the boat. 121. 121. <laughs> yep. We've got a thief. I've got no fucking thieves here. Yeah. Right. Some club. Some club? Which club? Paul Macquarie. What? At fucking Port Macquarie. Was it Port Macquarie? Yes. Why did you? Why did you take a face flannel from Port Macquarie? Because it was. <laughs> I wanted my five dollars back that I spent at the park. <laughs> <laughs> so is Rusty Odin on you? I already. Is Rusty, yes, uh, he is. But listen, but folks. Here we go, here we... A load of cob wallop. Cob wallop. <laughs> what a load of rubbish! Somewhere, 140 meters away, babe. Here it is, right here. This is where we left off in part 20, rolling up to the Powerhouse Motorcycle Museum in Timberworth. Well, come on aboard guys, this is a great little museum in here. Fucked up, haven't we babe? At whereabouts babe? Powerhouse Motorcycle Museum. In Tamworth. The Powerhouse Motorcycle Museum in Tamworth, New South Wales, is a must see for any bike enthusiast. The museum houses a private collection of over 60 motorcycles in pristine working order from the 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s. The collection of bikes include Ducati, Triumph, Honda, Kawasaki, Laverda and an extremely rare limited edition F4 MV Augusta series ORO and a 1924 Harley Davidson poster bikes. All the motorcycles have been immaculately restored to concourse edition. Plus, there are some limited edition car models. It's not often you go to a museum where all the bikes actually work. You must go and see this museum. It is great. Onwards and upwards, and we'll see if we can film in here. They'll either Rusty. say yes, or they'll say no. Rusty's gonna punch them if they... If now, Kim will have her camera out taking lots of happy snaps. Yes, I've got Won't it in you? my pocket. She's not real good at remembering, is she? Okay, the collection of bikes we got here belong to the Fennel Badans, the motel next door here. We have 60 bikes on display, varying in age from a 1924 Harley outfit straight down there, J Series. Oh, yes. Up to a 2020 electric Harley. Just oh, oh, yes, the live wire. Yeah, well I guess Harley thought this might be the way of the future, we'd better start developing something in that area. But they couldn't sell one to me, not because it's electric, but because it's silent. Yes. Even at my age, part of riding my motorbike is the There's noise. The yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So this one you have no clutch, no gearbox and no noise. For a motorbike, to me there's something missing. <laughs> but very on. powerful. Oh yeah, performance is yeah, not an issue. Have you ever ridden it? No, no, no. not that one. No. no. Yeah, but as you say, you've, you've got instant go, like the car. Yep. Yeah, but performance is not an issue. It's just that the lack of sound to me. Yeah. Uh, for a motorbike, no, there's something missing. But anyway, <laughs> most of the bikes we got, he bought, purchased second hand, and he had a fella employed full time doing the restoration for him. Some he bought new, the two red ones down the far left hand, yep. the stands at MV and a Duke, he bought yep. new. One of the Lavertas down there, orange one with number seven, he bought new. Cool. And of course, the electric car. Right. Is so he still he... alive, is he? Huh? Is he still alive? Yeah, he's six, like... 66 years old. Oh, is that all? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. okay. Only, only a young bloke. Yeah, yeah, he's only a few years older than me. <laughs> yeah, he's not very old at all, is yeah. he? Yeah. Ah. Cool. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks. Bye, folks. Hello. So, 
This is in the powerhouse Miller's own. Look at this, BSAs. Very good. We'll go this way first, eh? Here's a Harley, babe. That's a pretty one, isn't it? It is. A couple of Harleys there. Pretty red one. With the old stereo system on it, babe. Oh. <laughs> like the gold wing, isn't it? Like... 80 cubic inches. We've even got a live wire here, guys. Look at that. So these are all owned by the bloke that owns the motel next door. A little Honda Trials bike. Yeah, I was looking at that before. There. Hmm. See, River, TLR 250. Hmm. A Montessa. I'd love one of these Honda 350, 400s. We had them when we were kids. Yeah. Honda 750. Oh, look at that, the Super Sport. CBX 1000, 24 valve, six speed transmission. Look at the size of the donk babe, six cylinder. Oh wow. <laughs> that would have to be a high busher, wouldn't it? Yep. Yep, this is like the one we had when we were kids. Not that big. No. <laughs> See how long the seats are? Dad used to get all us kids on there and one on the tank. Five kids. And Dangerous. And the kid he didn't like, he just chucked off the back. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great looking bikes in here. It's a matchless. The old quackers, look at them. Nice. Mm. We've got 20s here almost. Yeah. Oh, 750s, same colour. Oh, no, different, must be different years by the looks of them. What's we this one? A... That's a 70, that's a 73, that one. And that one there is a 72. Oh, I like the graphics on the 72 better. Didn't change much apart from here's changed. Oh, this has changed. This is the 72, this one. No, what's this one? 72. And the other one's what? 73. Yeah. A so year's difference. This is the 72, the setup here. And this one is a 73 setup, so it's not a real lot of difference though. Both 750s. That one must be a bigger one. Yeah, it should be a thousand, wouldn't it? Yeah, it is. Is it? Yep. So you'd be an 80s bike, that wouldn't it, babe? Ah, uh, square. Look. 1980, yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah they that's... started coming out mm. square, didn't they? They did. The mirrors make it look like a whole lot more in here, but there's only 60, wasn't there? Mm, 60 something. Yeah, I think he said, didn't he? That's he nice, say. isn't it? A Z900, look at that. That's a later model one, isn't it? Mm. Oh no, that's a 76. Oh, because really? they brought the Z900s out again, they didn't did. they? Yeah. yeah. So that's original. That's nice, isn't it? It's got a double overhead cam in it. Oh, I'd be proud. I'd be proud to oh, ride yeah. that boat. Oh. Old aerial here, babe. No, nah, Royal Infield. Sorry, sorry guys. Royal Infield here, babe. Oh, he likes the Nortons, babe. Yeah, Great Britain. Bloody English bikes. Nothing wrong with them, babe. Oh, here's a Laverta. Oh, we've got a couple of them. What are they? Three of them, Lavertas. Oh. Laverta. Prototype. This one's as old as me. Is that old? Mm -hmm. Jesus. 68, babe. Yep. Made some good things in 68, didn't they? They did. Old oh, BMW here behind you. Big old tank. Yeah. It's 1990. No. What, babe? Oh, what year is that one? Oh, that's 1990. 2003. 2003. Made in Germany. So, because it's BMW? Yep. Cool. 16 valve, four cylinder. It's 1172 cc. My car would replica Ducati. Look at the paint on this boat, on this Ducati. Yeah, I know, yeah, I've got a picture of that. I don't know so if nice. you can see that or not, guys. It's pretty. Yeah. Look at Ducati here, the way it's written, babe. Yeah. Pretty good, eh? So this one here's a Ducati, too, guys. It's a 125. It feels like a cafe race. 1956. I had to leave Kimmy tied up for a while, she's been naughty. 
old Kim here. She gets a bit angry sometimes. So this is the gift shop area, guys. <clears throat> Cast metal signs, all these. They're not your plastic stuff. Reproductions, obviously, but still very good. Belt buckles are 39. We've got a couple of Harley ones there. Yeah, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. It is, actually. Oh, I like that bandana there. There. There's roses on it. Key rings, $17. Hang on, just look at this bike here, babe, before we go. <laughs> look at the pig, I didn't even see that pig under there. Yeah, I already took a picture of that, babe. Did you? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Look at this. With a big tank on her. Mm. Mm. Okay, so that was the Powerhouse Motorcycle Museum in Tamworth, wasn't it? Oh, visitors. Give me Russ Adventures, mate. Um, what is the date? 17th, isn't it? Yep. It's official, isn't it? Official! <laughs> okay. Well, all those bikes are privately owned. So, um, most of them bought second hand, apart from probably half a dozen. And the bloke that owns this motel here owns this and all the bikes, doesn't he? He does. Our house, motorcycle museum. So, we're going to hop back on the bike now. Bikes. And we're going up probably to the lookout, are we? Yep, we're going okay. up to the lookout. All right, we'll catch you on the road. Isn't old Kenworth nice and leafy, isn't it? Beautiful. We are, we've got a stop sign here, babe. We are going up to the lookout and have a look back down across Tamworth, guys. So the lookout's um, about one and a half kilometres up here. The gates close of the night up here. Uh, 10 pm, I think it closes. 10 pm, is it, babe? Yeah, I think that's what the internet said. It is a really nice road up here. Gonna be a good view, I can tell you that now, guys. Okay guys, so we're up the top here. This is the lookout. And go around so we can park under some shade somewhere, eh babe? Yeah. Not that well, it's that was a... a better road up than the other lookout. <laughs> oh Kimmy's breathing again. Yeah. <laughs> oh we've got a film crew. Kimmy Russ Adventures are here, mate. Oh. We'll just park sideways here, sweetie. Yep. Ah, okay. So this is it here guys, and the, the news crew has actually uh, got here in time to film us at the lookout. So wait, yeah, oh, oh, wait a minute babe, I've got to get my gear off, I've got to take my, <laughs> got to take my colours over babe. I'm just getting them off okay, see if we can get them on camera. So we are up at the Tamworth lookout aren't we babe? Yep. There's, there's MBN 9 News is here, so hopefully they'll film this here on the back that there. <laughs> Kimmy Russ Adventures. We'll see if we can get on film, hey? Nice little area up here, isn't it? Very nice. Beautiful. Oh. The lookout. Oh, he's got a good setup. Oh. Woo oh, look at the view. Magnificent, isn't it? There you go, mate. Hey. Good. Can we be on your TV? <laughs> if you want to stand in my shot, you can. All right. Oh, well, can you get that in while I'll, you're there? Yeah, I'll get, I'll get the back. Okay. What's this going to be on? I'm just doing this for uh, NBN News tonight for the weather shot. Right. Oh, wow. I just want to have a look out there. Yeah. 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 Cool. Back of the shirt, yeah. Mm, nice, isn't it? Those ranges. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the view up on the lookout, isn't it, babe? Is it Oxley lookout, I think? Uh, I don't know what they called it, babe. It is the Oxley Scenic Lookout, and it's a highlight of any visit to Tamworth. Follow Tenworth's Jacaranda Line White Street to the very top where you'll reach this viewport. It's the best seat in the house as the sun goes down. The lookout originally Oxley Park is named in honour of John Oxley, Surveyor General and Explorer who passed through the Tenworth area in 1818. The lookout is located at the top of White Street, the one we rode up, and is easily accessible by vehicle or a moderate hike will bring you to this area excellent vantage spot. The views are almost 180 degrees and stretch for kilometres into the distance, providing incredible 
speakers of both the city and Peel River Valley. Isn't it fantastic? We live uh, down, that's a street we just come up. That street there is the one we just come up. So if you go down the bottom and go to the left, we live just along there somewhere. When I mean live, I mean our motel in the bay. Yeah. Yes. And Kimmy Russ could have their logo on the MB, uh, 9 MB, um, MBN News tonight, modern, yep. on the weather. Mm -hmm. So look out for that, guys. Mm -hmm. So that's the what? newsman. The newsman, and we're going to be on the news later, maybe, with the weather. It'll be whether or not Kimmy Russ adventures are on the TV. There's another lookout down here, babe. Is there? So this is a very nice lookout up here, but in there, babe. Yeah. Very nice indeed. A couple of viewing platforms up here. Nice. You should have you should have brought a picnic lunch. Oh. I mean you've been eating all day as I it know. is. You haven't yep. stopped. Should have thought of that. Sorry. Yeah. I'm well, not like Natalie, I'm not that organised. No, you should have bought cold drinks with us. Yep. Very good. Someone's lost their hair clip. Okay, so that's a lookout up at Tenworth, the top of Tenworth there, looking back across the city. It's very pretty. You don't realise how big Tenworth is till you really get up to places like that, do you, babe? Yeah. Gives you a whole new perspective. It does. It's like looking at drone footage, but not as good. <laughs> it's least expensive. Yeah. Right here. So we're going to head back down now. What is the time, babe? 121. It's almost stubby time in the boat. 121. 121. <laughs> yep. Almost beer o'clock. There's our steel horses, isn't it? Yeah, I should take a photo of them. Okay. This is coming down from the lookout as you're looking across there. It's not the highest peak around here, but I'll tell you what, it is a really nice view. You can see for miles, can't you, babe? Oh, I should yeah. say kilometres, sorry. 40 kilometre. Speed zone, up and down. A safety ramp down here, 300 metres, babe, if you need it. Oh. Look at that Brakes. view coming down. Brakes don't fail me now. Well, that escalated. We were getting there with one camera, expecting to get some amateur footage. Ended up with the fucking news crew. <laughs> the pretty Tamworth in spring, guys. All the blossoms are coming out or have been out, they're all dropping off now actually. Okay, we've had a great day today, haven't we babe? Yep. <laughs> we went up to the, what was it babe, the um, Oxley Lookout Oxley Lookout at Tamworth and while we're up there, oh Rusty, he's seen an MBN news bloke up there and I, I got the gear off me boy and said right we're over there because he got a camera out of the MBN news bus. Now tonight we could be on the NBN Kenworth New England News on the weather because he's up there filming the lookout view and we said, oh, can we stand in the shot? And old Rusty, he had his emblem on the back of the T-shirt. He said, yeah, yeah, no, I'll film you and um, we'll put her on the news. Yeah, but he just asked us to look out over the lookout. Yeah, why, he panned around. Panned around, don't say anything, and then he just honed in on Rusty's shirt. Rusty was awfully excited when he seen him there with a big yeah, camera, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so that's NBN 9 News Tamworth. Yes, or New England. We're not sure. We did make a mistake by not asking him, but he said he, that it's on tonight's news, yes, didn't he? he did. So, look out, guys. On the weather. Yes. Mm -hmm. Checking in again right across the bridge. Well, nice there we are. There we are. There we are. Okay, so we've got a couple of problems here, haven't we, Kimmy? I don't know what it is. What? What? What, what do you mean you know what it is? <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. Well, I know what I'm about. What? We've got a thief. I'm going to fucking thieves here. Yeah, right. Well, I remember coming on holidays and I brought no face flannels with us, right? What's this? This here. Where'd that come from? That belongs to the, this. No, it doesn't. Where did it come from? Come on, Kimmy. Kimmy. Kimmy, where did that come from? I have from? no clue. No? That, that snatch. Where did it come from? Come on, Kimmy. Some club. Some club? Which club? Port Macquarie. What? At fucking Port Macquarie. Was it Port Macquarie? Yes. Why did you, why did you take a face flannel from Port Macquarie? Why? 
Because it was... <laughs> I wanted my five dollars back that I spent at the pumpkin. <laughs> They have these in the ladies' and men's toilets, but, the wipe your hands on clean ones. No, they now, now, have taken. No, they're not. Now, no. we come out of the car. We're walking down the street. And Kitty here, she pulls out a face flannel from her bag. I said, where'd you get that from? I took it. Why did you take it? Because they owed me $5. <laughs> Because she put five bucks in the bag and thought she deserved it. Yeah. That's wrong. That's wrong in the guys. Now, I don't condone this for anyone that's got kids. She's a bad, bad girl. For kids? Kids don't go to the pokies. No. And there is another problem as well. Now, I'm Rusty's owed an emu. So is Rusty owed an emu? I already... Is Rusty yes, he is, but listen, but folks. Here we go, here we go. I already said the rules, right, when this emu thing come out. Ah, 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 here we go. No, 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 no. There was no rules. First one, seen the emu, got uh, an emu. Emus in the wild, not captivity. That was the first rule. No, the there was... Second rule... Oh, never, ever, never, 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 yeah. never, ever any rule like that. Rule number two was emus, if you don't deliver, only ask for five, last for five days. What a load of cob wallop. <laughs> what a load of rubbish. These are new rules come to light now because five days, five days have passed. Yeah, more than five days has passed. So you're yes. not getting, it's starting from fresh, from moving forward. <laughs> moving forward. Trust me, guys, we're not moving forward off this. We are not moving forward. Are we, mate? We're moving forward. No, we're not. Yep. No, we're I'm not. I'm saying it. I'm, I'm calling it. There is an emu coming to town. Right there in that bed. No. An emu. The only bed you're sl the only woman you're sleeping with is that one over there. Chucky the bride. Yeah. No. Bride and yeah. Chucky. You are a fucking thief. Hey guys, so this is Tenworth Main Street, the famous Peel Street. If anybody has ever been here they would know that. It is the main shopping complex. A very beautiful street I reckon. You've heard me say it before as a lot of um, New South Wales country town streets are in it babe. Yep. Look at that. That is stunning. Is, is it not guys? What in Tassie have we got like this? Hey? Plenty of shade up the street. Absolutely beautiful. What are you doing Kimmy? Making them nice and tidy. That would be a change, oh, wouldn't it, eh? Yes. You've been nice and tidy. I mean, look at this. Look at this, guys. Look, all Kimmy's vests. Wait me. till you see the sink. Look, all yeah, over here. That's mine. Yeah, that's yours. Look at the hair on it. Look at this. Oh, yeah, she, she fucking found that up at the lookout. <laughs> picked it up and put her in the hair. I said it could have nits. Did it? I looked at it and it was clean. No nits crawling on it? No. Oh, lucky you, eh? You're not even any ants. Oh, God. <sighs> right, oh, we're hitting the road again, aren't we, babe? We are heading Oi. in a easterly direction. Yeah, well, I don't know where she worked that one out from, but anyway. We're not heading east, guys. We're heading west a bit. East, we'll be going back to the east coast, babe. Okay, I thought that's where we were heading. So we're going in the opposite way to what you thought, just like your left and right that you get mixed up. <laughs> Lucky I'm not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are leaving Tamworth. And we're going to use Dubbo as a stepping stone again for us. To start coming back down in Victoria eventually. Uh, we will be going across a bit further yet, I feel. Well, don't you feel, babe? I feel we should. Yes, while the weather's fine. We really don't want to get back down in Victoria where the weather's shit. Ah, oh, fuck. We're in the wrong lane. You're right. We can go this way anyway. Okay. Fucking shitty weather. Victorians. Turtle carriers. Don't ever get those blokes because with a name like Turtle, you'll never get your product. <laughs> I'm just saying, babe. It's a fair call. Yeah. Oh dear. Turtle carriers? Uh, what would you name them, your bloody thing there? That means they're slow. Well, I suppose the turtle did get there eventually, didn't he? Yeah, he did. And he beat the hare and the tortoise, if you want to call him a tortoise, but that's turtle. So this is as we're leaving Tamworth, guys. It's on the outskirts. 
it is a fairly big place, Tenworth. Now my wheels in motion and my 